What's up guys, it's Brian here. And the first thing I want to say is I hope you all had a very merry and blessed Christmas, and I hope you have a happy New Year as well, or whatever other holiday you celebrate. Happy holidays to you. Um, this is coming right after Christmas, this video of, uh, of mine, this update video, talking about uh, the future of Watermelon Studios. A lot of stuff we got to talk about, and it's not going to be fun, but it's stuff that I have to put out there, and I've been delaying this video for so long, so let's just, let's just get right into it. And the very first thing I have to address is Order 66. I know that I had tentatively promised that it would be tentatively promised. I tentatively had it in my, in my head that part two would come in December. Well, it's the end of December, and I haven't done anything on it from the summer. I had no time to. Like, school this semester was more than I had ever experienced in college at all, and it is only going to get worse. <laughs> Next semester is student teaching, and because I'm in my last year of college and it's going to only get crazier next semester. So, again, part two and three. I didn't want to do this, but they will be next summer. I can almost 100% certainly guarantee that I will do both of those brick films next summer. And, um, because that's, that's just when I'm going to have time. I'm, I'm tired of, like, thinking to myself that I'm going to get this done in a reasonable time, when the fact is that I'm just not. They're going to get done, obviously. The story's not finished yet. There's still a lot to be told. But... This is not going to happen right this second. So that really stinks, but they're going to get done, I promise. Now, in addition to Order 66, the animations, the, um, I haven't been making a lot of filler videos. And by filler videos, I mean, like, the hauls and reviews, analyses, even, like, mini mocks and stuff. I just haven't been doing those. And it's not like... This, is, this semester has been the first time that I kind of haven't really wanted to. In a way, I've been so focused on work that LEGO took such a back seat in my, in my life, in my um, priorities, that it just kind of, I just kind of stopped being interested for a little while. For like, for, for, for a little while, I was just like, for this whole semester, I was like, like, not even thinking about LEGO at all, which is very rare for me to even do. I mean, I did end up, wrong way, I did end up getting the... <laughs> the Saturn V recently, and I'll talk about more what Lego builds and stuff that like different Lego sets in a minute. But um, yeah, this this semester there's been such a lack of interest on my part because I've just kind of been wanting to relax in my spare time. I want to just not do anything. I haven't even gotten to comment replies from months ago, and I honestly doubt that I'm going to get to them. But um, I'll reply to the comments on this video. But everything from the past, if I haven't replied, that's I've been reading them, but they're probably not going to get replied to. Anyway. Now I'm rambling, gotta keep going with the video. So getting back to that part about not making smaller videos, I've kind of just had this like over the last couple weeks and months, just this little, uh, this lack of desire to buy Lego in a way. Like I sit back and look at like, I know my collection is small compared to my fellow YouTubers, but I sit back and I look at all of the Lego sets I have and all the Star Wars stuff and I just, sometimes I just feel like I have like too much in a sense. Like I've been buying so much Lego that I kind of don't really want to spend that much more money on it right this minute. Like, I'm, I don't, like, over the last couple of years, once I started getting revenue from the channel, I started buying sets that I don't really need, just because I wanted it a little bit. But, like, there's not that many sets that I want to buy that are, like, coming out in the next wave. Like, I want the Praetorian Guard Battle Pack and maybe the Death Star Escape, but honestly, I'm just not sure. Like, I'm kind of, in a sense, getting a little, like, bored. Doesn't sound like the, doesn't sound like a, it sounds like a harsh word, but, like, with the Star Wars builds, they're just not interesting me anymore in some very sad way that I don't like admitting, but it feels good to, like, say that. Now, that's not to say I'm not interested in LEGO anymore still, because obviously, I keep doing that with my hip, wrong hand. I got the, and I did that again, the Saturn V very recently, and I've been more interested in finding unique LEGO builds. Because a lot of the Star Wars builds are pretty formulaic. Like, you build the same thing, you build the base, then you build, like, two wings on it, and the wings are the same, and, like, it's got a certain set of minifigures. But I've been looking for different kinds of builds, like this rocket ship. I did that right for the first time. And that is, honestly, one of the coolest LEGO sets that has ever come out. The build was challenging. It, it, the set itself is massive. It's taking up more room on my display shelf in my room than, like, any of the other sets. And, like, I'm just looking for different kinds of builds like that. Like, I did the old fishing store about a year and a half ago, and that was the first time I, I was like, hey, this is really fun, and it's not Star Wars, and I'm really enjoying building this. Same thing from earlier in the year with the uh, Ship in a Bottle set. That was a really fun build. Not Star Wars, but I enjoyed it a lot more. And then when I went back to do some more Star Wars builds, I was like, oh, like, I'm back doing this same thing, 
but like, I'm not sure if I'm enjoying it. Now, I just want to make one thing clear is that I'm not trying to diss anybody that loves the Star Wars builds, because I loved them for years. I'm just like starting to personally lose a little bit of interest in a lot of Star Wars sets and building the Star Wars sets. And I don't want any of you to lose interest just because I am, but that's just where I'm at mentally right this minute is that I don't really want to spend a lot of money on Lego sets right this second. Like even when I go on Amazon and Target and like hunt for deals and stuff, I'm like, oh, that's a great deal on a set that I kind of want, but do I really need that set for anything that I'm going to be making animation-wise? Because I'm kind of focusing mainly on the animations, like for the future of the channel, I kind of want it to just like just be maybe those yearly stop motions, but I mean, who knows? I don't know what's going to happen when I start teaching. It's just a big question mark right now, pretty much everything related to the channel and Lego and my future, which is uh, kind of scary, but I'm at the end of college, and that's a transition period. Like, you know, you kind of start to move on from some things that you did when you were younger, and I'm just not sure what's going to happen with uh, Watermelon Studios as much. I love brick films. I've, I still absolutely love Lego, and I'll never stop loving Lego. It's just a matter of whether I want to spend my money on it. Like, I still think Lego is, pro is the best toy, first of all, the best toy out there, period. And... One of, the, one of the easiest and most accessible means of storytelling. Like, you can write a great script, which I feel like I've written some really good scripts for my brick films, and then you can make, like, mediocre brick films out of them. Like, you can make your little stop motions, and you can tell a cool story with them. I just think it's so cool. You can build your own, you can build your own universe with Lego. I don't have to pitch Lego to you guys. I mean, everybody who follows me is obviously into Lego. But um, it's still one of my favorite things in the world. It's just right now I think I need to, like, take a little break. So now that being said, this could be the end of an era. Not my channel, in any sense of the word, in any sense of the way. The <laughs> word Watermelon Studios is not going anywhere. Again, there's still Beta Squad to do. I still have a lot of Beta Squad left, and I'm so, so excited for those last two parts. You have no idea. They're, I think they're really good. But um, if you like the first part, you're going to love the next two parts. And they're going to come. They're going to come next summer. I'm very excited to make more Brick Films. But as for buying new LEGO, reviewing sets, analyzing future sets, I'm just not sure that I'm in that, that I'm in that game anymore. I don't think I'm in that ballpark to just make the smaller videos right this second. And even like this little update video has been so hard for me to make. I've been pushing it off for so long, but it feels good to get this stuff off my chest. And I hope you guys support me in this endeavor to just like take a little break. Like just take a little rest from LEGO and from buying a, like a, a, a lot of new sets and reviewing them constantly and just making videos all the time because I do have to focus on my career and my life and and graduating and finding a job and oh gosh now it's starting to get real and scary but this is what happens when you grow up and it just kind of like I don't know this has been kind of a sad little video but I feel good making it <laughs> it feels good to finally get this all off my chest and now I feel like I'm rambling if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below and I'm gonna be answering them for probably the next week or so I'm not sure if I'll be answering them after that, but I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I'll be checking Instagram once in a while. I know I get a lot of DMs on there still, so if I haven't, if you haven't, if I haven't answered you yet, I'll get back to you this next time I log in. But for now, um, that's it for right this second. And we'll see you. I'll see you when I when I see you next. Not sure when that's going to be, but thank you for the support. It's been incredible, and I appreciate your patience as I continue to go to school. And I continue to try to make to find time to make brick films. So that's good. I'm not gonna ramble anymore. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for everything. This has been Brian from Watermelon Studios. Peace out, guys.